Matika, my name is Prince Pat Molomo, and um, I would like to, in this video, I would like to talk to you about your reach um, and the, 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 bleh, the dimensions of the court and your reach. Uh, first, I'm going to explain the dimension of the court. Most badminton players, I would say about 90% of badminton players, don't understand the, how that don't know the dimension of the court. And I am at fault of that. I played badminton for 20 some odd years before I committed the dimensions of the badminton court to memory. So, um, and once I did commit it to memory and understood my reach, I was a better badminton player. So, I'm just going to introduce this to you. Uh, okay, so. To know the dimension of the court, you have to know five numbers. So the five numbers that you should be familiar with are 44, 20, 1, 2, and 6. Okay? That's it. 44 by 20, pretty simple. 1, 2, 6. The way I remember this is 1 plus 2 equals 3, double that, you get 6. Okay, let me explain these numbers to you. 44 is the total length of the badminton court. 20 is the total width of the badminton court. Okay? Now, 1 is singles, so that's the singles alleys here. Okay? Two is the double service line, the, the, the length, or the width here and the width here. Okay? So one, two, six is the distance between the net and the front service line. Okay? Now all you have to do is remember 44, 20, one for singles, two for doubles, six for the front service line and you add half doing this upside down half and half and you have all the lines of the badminton court length with uh, singles alley as we call it double service line and front service line. Um, this is of course in uh, standard uh, measurement because I don't know metrics. Uh, that's it. Now how this is used is uh, was taught to me uh, when I was in Thailand and it's called um, understanding your reach. So understanding how long your arm is and how long your arm is with a badminton racket and just to show you the badminton racket is about two feet give or take to 22 inches okay my reach I'm five foot eight so not very tall my reach is about yeah three feet 34 inches I give myself two inches I call it three feet so three feet so my reach is five five feet. Okay. Why that's important is because if I'm playing singles, right, I want to position myself. If I'm in the center, I want to know how far it is to the single sideline, that single sideline, and this single sideline. Well, I know the width of the total cord is 20 minus <coughs> one and a half minus one and a half, you're left with 17, right? So it's 17 feet from this line, sideline to sideline, right? And I know my reach is five this way and five this way. So it gives me seven feet left. Seven feet divided by two is three and a half by three and a half left to cover. Now that's just me standing straight up with my racket out. Okay? If I include a split jump and a step, 
like in uh, swinging around the clock with a split, swinging around the clock with the split jump, I can cover the side to side with minimal movement. Now, this is important because you don't want to just move for the sake of moving, but you want to know how much you should not move. Okay? Now, same thing, uh, because I know this total length is, oh, this total length is 44, I know that from here to here it's only 22. Okay, 22 minus six and a half minus two and a half gives me 17 left. So if I'm here, I know that it's only 17 feet. One, seven feet. 17 feet from front service line to double service line that I have to cover. Why this, why, why this is important is because I want to position myself further back here. Okay. These lines represent uh, racket length. Okay. So just call this two feet, uh, two inches. So two feet, so one, two, three racket um, length back is where my uh, base position should be. Oh, forgot the most important. Okay, my uh, reach is five feet this way, five feet this way. Got ahead of myself, sorry. Um, five feet this way, five feet this way. And it's also five feet coming out this way. Okay? So, If you were to look at my reach, this is the floor, this is the net, this is me. My reach would come up about my arm plus the length of the racket, about five feet, and it would come out this way, about five feet. Okay? So double service line would be about first. Front service line, double service line. Okay? That's my reach from a side view from a bird's uh, perspective, looking down, my reach would be like this. What this tells me is how much I have to move, but more importantly, how much I don't have to move. Okay? So if you notice, there's a lot of space back here that I'm not covering. So that tells me that my position should, I should be hanging out back here more because I can cover my front relatively easy. Let's see, I could reach here, reach here, just with one step. You know, split jump in a step, and I can reach anything that lands right around here. And I'm going to explain this area here in another video. But this is, if you understand your reach, you understand the dimension of the court, you understand how much you don't have to move. And that's the most important. Um, as a side note, I learned this, uh, like I said, when I was in Thailand, and somebody, uh, somebody, one, a good friend of mine pulled me to the side and told me that uh, even though I move, uh, I had really quick feet, I was moving too much. And they explained this to me in Thai, and in Thai it's called my Zhang Wat. Okay, if those of you that are Thai speakers can uh, translate this better for me. I think Zhang Wat in Thai, in Thai has more meaning to it, it depending, depends on the context, but in the context of uh, badminton, I am translating it to mean reach, okay? So again, my reach, or my Jung Wat, is like this, okay? Um, I hope this was helpful, uh, thank you for watching. Okay.